What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm here with my George Foreman Grill and Broil Grill and my Cook Essentials Air Fryer. And this morning, I'm going to make me some Air Fryer Chicken and Waffles. Alright, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and wash the chicken and actually take the bone out of the breast because that's what we're going to do this morning. All right, we're gonna go ahead and season our breast here. I got the slap your mama seasoning sauce. I mean seasoning. Let's put some on now. And just for some coloring, I'm gonna use some saison. All right, I'm gonna pour one egg in there. And just mix that up. All right, so real quick, this is my batter mix right here. All right, so I'm gonna put some of the batter in here, then put my chicken in, and then just shake it. All right, now I'm gonna spray some oil on it, olive oil. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. All right, I got my air fryer tray in. All right, I got the George Foreman preheating right now. So when this turns green, illuminates, then we're good to go. So now it's time to pre prepare the waffle mix. Quick disclosure, I'm not going to really go over how I'm making the waffle mix because I'm just following the directions on the box, which you should do the same as well on whatever box you buy. Now I'm going to use club soda instead of water. You don't have to, but that's, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this up. You get the point. All right, so this is how it should look. Let it sit for about four or five minutes. All right, so see right there, the preheat green light is illuminated, so we are good to go. All right, gonna put some spray on it for its first use. Look at that smoke, y'all. All right, I think we're about done. Let's check them out. Yep. Now, one thing I did notice, these are a little bit soft. Now, this is my first time making them in my George Foreman, so if you want them a little harder, you could put them in like a toaster oven. But they're a little soft. But it's all right. All right, fried chicken, air fried chicken is done. Let's take a look at it. There it is. Yeah. Slap your mama good. All right, put some butter on there. Now I'm gonna put some uh, syrup on. Well, actually, I need to put my chicken on. All right. Now I'm going to add my syrup. There it is, guys. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. All right, let's go ahead and have a bite. Let's 
take one bite for you guys before I devour this. I want to take my time. You guys first. Look at that. Mm. That's real good. I taste the Cajun spices from the Slappy Mama spices and um yeah. And that uh that flour mix, yeah. It's good, it's on point. If you like spicy stuff. Just for you guys, I'm just gonna add some Texas peat to it. I'm not a hot sauce kind of guy, but let's go ahead and dab some on it. All right, I'll take one more bite for y'all. Mm. All right, guys. Well, it's all set. It tastes good. I recommend you guys giving it a try. If you don't have this grill, go ahead and get it. This is one definite reason why I think you should get it. And speaking of that, I want you guys to uh, sign up to my Facebook page, Kitchen Gadgets. I'll put the link in the description. But if anything, thanks for just looking at my video. Remember, hit like if you like it. And it's Cooking with Doug, and I'm out.